What's happening guys? Kenny with In The Pocket here again. And um, just to preface this, I feel like shit. Um, those of you that watched the live feed last night know that somehow from the beginning of the live feed to the end of the live feed, I got had my a cold come on. I had felt a scratchy throat at the beginning of the day, but I think some of the stress of the live feed, which, dude, I had my first live feed, and, you know, I didn't know anyone was going to come. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of stress involved in that for me. Uh, I'm kind of an anxious dude. So, uh, yeah, it did uh, kind of from the beginning to the end, I feel like I got a cold, and I feel like crap. Thanks, Steve, for that. You and McConaughey, <laughs> you sons of bitches, man. I'm gonna get you. Um, but yeah, so I feel like shit, guys, and I'm sorry if I sound like shit. Um, <laughs> and I'm probably gonna be taking drinks throughout. I got some tissue paper, uh, toilet paper here, so I'll probably be blowing my nose some. I'm sorry that I sound horrible. I got water here too, so I'll probably be drinking a lot of that. I apologize if this is a longer video, um, but I figure if you guys are subscribed to me, that's why you're watching this, and um, you know, I fucking ramble, uh, and I cuss sometimes too, I'm sorry for guys that don't like that, uh, I'll try to not do that so much, but anyways, uh, yeah, I, I just want to get into it, I'm going to talk about a lot of different things here. Um, the main idea of the video is what's coming up in 2019 for my channel. But, and I'm open tag guys, open tag, whoever wants to make a video like this. But I am going to call out a few guys. Um, and, and you guys pretty much know who you're going to be. I mean, yeah. But, so this is just a, a video talking about where it's going. What's, what kind of it came from, why I started this is kind of what I'm going to do here. And then where it's going in 2019. So... Uh, I'm gonna try and keep it concise, but I know I, I'm not going to so I'm just gonna go with it uh, First off uh, what's what I why I started collecting um uh, It was like So I broke my leg in November skateboarding. Yeah, I'm 35 years old, and I'm still like a little fucking kid uh, I broke my leg. Uh, I broke it just above the ankle and tore the deltoid ligament at the same time and I had surgery and I was on my ass for pretty much three months, you know, um, maybe even longer, like more like five or six months because I broke my foot <laughs> a little bit before that. It's a long story, guys. I'm not going to get into it. Um, yeah, so I was on my ass and I started looking at YouTube. I started looking at stuff and my first purchase, uh, I, I was under the Kershaw, I had a Kershaw thing and throwing knives came on the Kershaw um, email and I was like dude I've always wanted throwing knives so I got some and that turned into uh, me looking at more shit and then I happened to get myself one of these a throwing knife for fucking just from hell from hell a throwing knife so gnarly and I loved it cold steel my first cold steel um, pretty insane guys. Uh, so yeah, I got this and that just opened a world of trouble. Uh, I kept looking and watching videos, ended up, uh, seeing how my card was made. I was looking at this knife and then, um, it had plastic handles and no one made aftermarket handles for it. So this is the Turok, the, um, Jeros Turok from K-Bar and no one made handle scales for it. So I said, you know what? Uh, I looked at how my carter was made, and it was like right up my alley, and I I went for it, and oh man, I had so much fun, and I loved the way the knife came out with the scales I made. They're not perfect by any means. I could go back and really finish them out and make them better, but they're super comfortable, and I loved making the micarta, and it just... Again, it opened a whirlwind, and it also came with me making my card of scales for this guy. Uh, this is a little uh, blackjack. I forget what the neck knife model name is of this, but yeah, 
I wanted to make some thicker handle scales with the palm swell. I made those and um, at the same time, and this is a super comfortable little fixed blade. Now, I made this uh, Kydex sheath for it too, my first Kydex sheath. So yeah, I just uh, kind of went right into it, you know, that's how I do things. <clears throat> Sorry, I can't say certain words very well. Uh, pronunciation is not gonna be ideal in this video for me. But yeah, so, you know, making the Kydex sheath for this and, and uh, making the scales, my first like kind of just fitting a knife. And I really loved that. So it just, it started a whirlwind. And then I started looking into folders because I didn't really ever have a good folder. Well, I mean like a higher end folder. I, when I was a kid, I saw the Benchmade 940. I saw some, you know, the Griptilian. I saw the Spydercos, the Delicas and such, but they were always out of my price range. And it, you know, that's why easily one of these could have been my, my grail knife because I mean, I, I saw them as a kid. I just never wanted to spend that much. So, but always kind of drooled over bench maids and stuff. So yeah, I mean, what really broke my back, like I said, I mean, I just already did that with the, the knives that broke you. Um, oh, one of them's over here. Can't really do this without it. But yeah, you know, the, the um, spider, sp uh, not spider monkey, the bad monkey from Southern Grind. You know, this was like one of the knives that kind of changed me. But this was a long time ago, long before the scales and such. So yeah, that was a big thing that kind of pushed me. But what, you know, everyone saw in the other video, what pushed me over the edge was that, that pair of three, which I don't have with me here either. Uh, these are a lot of my knives, but not all of them, guys. And it's over there. It's right behind the camera, but I'm not going to go get it because it's going to be long enough already. Uh, so that knife really started it, and it really pushed me over the edge. So where that took me, within, oh, man, that, you know, what really happened was, uh, I think I, I got notes here. Um, so I bought my first Spyderco on eBay. January 17th. <laughs> I, I looked it up because I had to see. I was like, man, when did this all start? And um, that was the beginning of the end for me. Yeah. I got the pair of three and within a few days I had gotten my first bug out. I, I purchased it at least and that's a long story, which I'll maybe I'll tell you guys sometime. But um, yeah, I ordered the wrong bug out, ended up getting it. And then so... The bug out. I love the bug out. Um, second knife I ever got as far as upgrades, you know, like more expensive knives. What we're talking about here, really. Um, yeah, I I got that and it just opened a can of worms. Got the bug out. Then I got the 940. Then I got, you know, the, the exclusive para, para military too. It just opened a can of worms, guys. And it, it really just, it, it started to get out of control a little bit. I know. I kind of bought too many knives to keep up with um, <laughs> me carrying them all. But, you know, it's, it's, it's funny. Uh, I had to start, like, really deciding what I wanted to carry. And, and then when, when it really broke loose was when I got this uh, Kaiser. This is what decided, made me decide to start a channel. When I got this Kaiser, um, you know... That's, I'm kind of going to get into this right here because um, how I got, how I chose that pair of three, how I chose the pair of three was watching YouTube channels. Like some of the guys that are maybe watching me right now. I, I, I know like Slicey Dicey, you're one of the guys that influenced me that um, kind of, it was one of the sh channels I watched a lot um, as far as uh, also JT's Knife Life um, along with you. And then, I mean, like, of course, Cedric and Ada. I mean, Cedric and Ada was a big time one for me. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, Apostle P was huge. Apostle P was a big one I like to watch. And then, um, I mean, I'm not going to mention everyone. Bird and, you know, the Birdshot channel. You guys crack me up. Uh, you guys don't even know I exist. So, I mean, all these channels have no idea I exist. Except Slicey Dicey, after yesterday, you know I exist. 
and I'm so happy about that. <laughs> uh, it's like a like a little kid again, you know. But it's it's so funny how quickly I got drawn into this whole thing, and um, I I go head first, guys, when I get into something, and I'm a very uh, I'm very scientific, and I, I break things apart, and I and like uh, metal effort, you say it well. Um, you say like I I like to break things apart and put them back together. That's kind of how my brain works. So I'm very. Uh, perceptive and insightful I like to like get to every like how does it work why does it work I I was that kid um and I am that guy I I was a carpenter for 10 or actually 12 years I've been now for 14 years I still work in carpentry I'm just doing it for fun now for me um I don't work in carpentry anymore um but yeah I mean I love love doing it. I carve. I, I'm just a, I just want to be the best at everything. That's just how I am. So this was, I delved right into it and I just went head first and got nuts. And, uh, YouTube channels, like the ones I mentioned really just got me, um, got me into it. And, and now like channels like Super Steel Steve, you've pushed me a little further. Like you let me open up a little more. You made me feel a little more comfortable. So I appreciate that a lot. And um, if I'm mentioning anybody that you don't know about already, which I'm sure that's not the case, go check it out. Um, if you stumbled upon my video and don't know about any of these names I'm saying, uh, go check them out because they are my inspiration. Um, and they're awesome channels. Uh, I do have some honorable mentions too, like stuff that, you know, these channels are really just starting to take ground, um, like take off. And I think they're all awesome. You know, and if I miss anybody, I'm really sorry. Uh, but, you know, Outpost76, um, you you got me kind of going. Gerald, you you uh, inspired me. You just kept me, kept me going, I should say. Like, every little subscriber, you guys are really what kept me going. Like, from the beginning, like, some, I, some of you guys are probably gone by now because I didn't go the way you wanted me to, but, and I'm sorry if I didn't line up with exactly everything you wanted, but... Um, that's why we all have opinions and we all have our channels that we like, but anyways, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm getting rambly right now, <clears throat> but it really just came down to guys, you know, Outpost 76, you pushed me, um, Super Steel Steve, you pushed me, um, like there's some new channels that are really awesome. Banner 24 seven, um, you know, metal effort. I didn't even know you were a channel, but you, you were talking to me before you were even a channel. And, um, you're awesome. Like, I like your channel a lot too. You're very insightful and very, um, you know, you kind of like me. So yeah, I really enjoy that. Uh, sharp thinking, you know, you're young, but you got a really good, uh, head on your shoulders and you got a lot to say. And I like what you have to say for the most part. So, um, yeah, it's really awesome. I love all of it. And, and honestly, I say for the most part, but I don't mean that in any negative way. We all have our own opinions on things. Sometimes I just think you need to, um, I mean, you're young, dude, and I was that way when I was 21 too, but you need to uh, not be so like, this is how I feel and I'm never going to change because you will change a lot coming up here in the next five years, brother. And you're going to See things you said when now, when you're 25, you're going to be like, damn, I was an idiot. Um, S35 is going to blow you away at some point, And someone is going to make S35 that changes your mind on it. But anyways, I know that's fuck. I shouldn't even talk about all that. Anyways, where I'm going, guys, I need to get to that because I know it's going to be a long one. And um, all of this stuff. All of these things, all of you channels, um, I know I'm missing a bunch of you, but I know I'm missing subscribers like Damon and, um, and Jovan. You, you connected me to Steve, Jovan. I, I'm ever grateful for that. And um, all these connections that are happening for me right now, um, dude, it's, it's awesome. My wife is out of town right now, so um, I'm spending my New Year's with you guys, really. Um, I'm sick, so I can't go to my friend's house. Um, I do have to go do inventory at my work uh, tonight, like before I, before I come home. It's gonna be at like four o'clock. It's almost that time, if you want to know when I'm filming this. But so I gotta go there. Um, it's just, you know, this it's been a lot for me, and um, and it's really awesome. I love all you subscribers. I really appreciate every single one of you. 
Uh, you what you're what keep me going, um, and the channels are what inspires me. And and I mean, not that you guys tell me what I'm gonna talk about, but you you make me think of things. You know what I mean? You make me go, dude, I want to talk about this. Or oh man, you make me you you give me inspiration sometimes. And so do the subscribers. You guys do too. Um, I like negative comments even. If you want to give me a negative or give me a thumbs down, just tell me what I did wrong. Um, I, I'd love to know so that I can change it. If it's something I can change. If it's just me, then that's me. But um, if it's something I can change, I will. Because I am ever changing and ever trying to better myself. So if you guys have a negative comment or anything to tell me, you know, slicey dicey. If, if you, you know, in all your year, you know, in your year or so of, of being a channel and really you rock. Um, so if you have anything for me, let me know. I'm always, always open to suggestion. But that doesn't mean I'm not strong-willed because I absolutely am, as you can already probably tell from my channel. But anyways, okay. Into the, the real thing. Um, what I'm gonna say is that <laughs> knives like this Knives like this have really pushed me to another level. Um, it, the fit and finish, just everything about it. The way that Elliot had set the tolerances for this knife. Elliot Williamson, that is, from Fair and Forge. The way that he did this, and the way that we, that we um, perfected it, you know, like really uh, just, I shouldn't even say perfected it, but... The way that they, oh God, my brain is a little fried right now with the whole cold thing and I didn't get that much sleep. So yeah, the way that they produced it, the way that they um, did it, they did an excellent job and uh, it blew me away and it inspired me to get more into these types of knives. Not for my subscribers that like my budget stuff and my um, normal, normal price knives, I, I still love it. Like I have a bunch of knives on my list that I want to get. Like uh, I want the Bilge Benchmade um, Amalgam. I forget what how it's to say it, but I want to get that one. No, 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 the Amalgam's the, the one that has the, the grip on the blade. I want to try that one. Um, I do want to try some ZTs. I have a few ZTs on my list. Uh, Banner twenty four seven. You're not helping, but those are the two ones I have on my list. Is the zero four seventy and the six oh nine, but. Yeah, so there's a lot going on, and there's a lot bouncing through my brain right now, as you guys can tell. Um, but I, I'm going into the mid-tech kind of range, and customs, because I don't live very far from, from uh, Ferrum Forge. I'm about maybe 50 minutes away with no traffic, and I'm going to go meet them. I am going to go talk to them, because they're about my age, and I feel like um, we're on the same kind of page, like brain wise so I want to go talk to him I want to get a custom from him I do I think that's going to be a big thing for 2019 for me um, I'm gonna go t get one of these as a custom and then possibly um, some other ones I'm, I'm not sure where that's gonna go but I do want to get some customs and um, stuff like this Chavez I mean I would have loved to get the Chavez Ferrum Forge you know that looks so sick but um that really inspired me too. Uh, Riate makes an amazing knife that blew me away. So yeah, another thing um, that it's really gonna happen in 2019 is with all this, all this uh, sharpening I've been doing. And I mean, I love my KME guys. Don't get me wrong. And if I ever do testing, it's gonna be with the KME because I feel like that's a great data data point. It keeps um, it keeps some of the variables down for me, in my opinion. Uh, but Steve, I think you're doing great. I don't think you need to change anything. Uh, but yeah, I have some DMTs. I've had this for a while, guys. It's still in the plastic. I haven't really had a lot of time to, and I've had a lot of knives where I don't really want to practice on it. But I also have this Venive. So this is my finish stone. This is kind of like where I'm gonna finish, and I have. Of course, oh, what was that? Oh, nothing super important. Uh, this course DMT as well. Um, so I have the DMTs to get me in 
it's for profiling and then I have the veneve to finish off with so I am in the process of trying to get better at hand sharpening because I want to be able to sharpen faster that's the only downside of the KME I would suggest it to anybody but as a reviewer I go through so many knives I use my knives so much that I need to sharpen faster to make it just to just be you know more productive and um, yeah so I am gonna do that and also a uh, big thing I am gonna take a drink right now guys sorry also another thing that is coming up um, what, what this also inspired me to do and what fair and forge I don't know if this is gonna happen guys but like like you guys that know me and have been watching my channel for a long time you know I'm you know I'm a really engineering mind type of guy and I want to make these I, I do want to make knives I want to probably start with some fixed blades I'm definitely gonna start with some fixed blades I want to forge I don't want to just um, I don't want to necessarily just be using stock uh, you know just stock steel I kind of want to forge. I want to be able to hammer. Uh, you know, it, it gets the carpenter inside of me. It gets everything. And the pyro, a little bit of pyromanius, maniac inside of me. So it's going to get all those things. Um, I do love fire. So <laughs> I think standing in front of a forge and then hammering on steel would be super therapeutic for me. So I'd love to do that. But at the same time, the engineering part of my mind makes me want to do this it makes me want to make folders and of course the fact that I'm just a I'm just a I don't know I, I just love it I really do and I'm, I'm capable I know I am I know I'm capable so I'm gonna probably get into that a little bit when I talk to Elliot maybe I'll see if he needs someone to sweep a shop or something but yeah I'm really excited for 2019 because I'm going to start getting into more than than uh than I had kind of st thought I was when I first started this whole thing. But what I will say is that I am intrigued and oh and huh the whole tag thing. I know Gerald, I know what you you already emailed me, so I know you got some some stuff coming out, but yeah, I do want to make knives, and I want to get in with somebody that makes knives. Um, I don't have a lot of time right now to do that, but I, I mean, if I can, I'm going to try. So I want to do both. I want to forge, and I want to make folders. I know those two don't exactly line up, so um, I don't know where it's going to go. I really don't, but I do want to do something cool, and... That's kind of where it's going to go. And if I'm still going to get these, I'm still going to get these normal folders too, guys, because there's stuff that still blows my mind. Like this guy, yeah, of course I'm going to get a $42 Civivi, you know? I mean, it's still totally in the, in the works. I'm not going to stop reviewing those knives because I'm getting into these customs. It may take away from some of it, but I got enough knives to review right now, guys, so I'm not going to buy a lot in the beginning of this month. <laughs> I say that now, right? You guys are all, like, laughing at me going, yeah, yeah, right, Kenny, you're going to fucking buy one tomorrow. Oh, I probably will. I have a serious problem. But, so, yeah, uh, I'm really excited, really excited about 2019, and I'm so thankful to all you guys out there. Yeah, you guys keep me going, and I'm, I'm so grateful for everything. I'm grateful that you guys even want to listen to me, really, to be honest, because I didn't know when I started. I didn't know if you guys were just going to go, yeah, dumb shit. We know the Kaiser sh mini sheepdog's cool. Move along. You know, I thought it was going to be it, but, you know, guys like uh, Joe Vaughn and those guys just, uh, I know I'm missing someone. Clark Nielsen, uh, I think that's, damn it, I'm going to get my iPad real quick. You guys are all so great that, um, You've been there from the beginning, and you, you're the reason I kept going, you know? You're the reason I kept going. James, James, R, W R James, I, f I forget your... You guys were the ones that really just pushed me, like, told me, like, you know, it's... I had something good to say, or I had something that you wanted to listen to, 
and it, it really, I appreciate it, man. I know at my work, people love me because I'm really insightful with fins and stuff like that. And when I originally started this channel, I had, I was gonna do surf products too. I should probably change my mission statement or whatever because I was gonna do surf products and skateboards. Um, I, electric skateboard company kind of got me because I am like this. I, I figure out what's wrong with things. If one of these knife companies want to pay me to figure out what the fuck's wrong with their knife, I'll do that all day long because um, I'm good at that. I'm good at finding what's wrong with something. That could be a, a fault. That could be a fault of mine, but I don't know. I think it's valuable to, at least to you guys. Uh, maybe not to my wife, <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, I'm just so grateful for all you guys. You, you really just keep me going and I'm appreciated all, and hopefully I have been what you wanted, you know, hopefully I'm fitting a new standard, you know, fitting in somewhere where I maybe, where I maybe wouldn't have, oh, G-Motion, sorry, I'm just looking at my tablet here, G-Motion EDC, you've been there from the beginning, uh, Aggie Monster, I don't know who you are, David, Tim. I mean, these guys have been here since the beginning, and um, you, you just, I didn't even know, I didn't even know anyone wanted to listen to me. I don't even know if they're still following me because I'm sure sometimes, you know, you start to follow someone and then you realize you don't really agree with them a lot and then you don't really want to talk to them anymore. <laughs> uh, Average Joe, you've been there since the beginning. Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of guys. I don't know. Um, they, they mean a lot to me, though. That's all I really want to say. And I know I'm rambling about it, and it's probably something I don't even need to talk about. But, uh, yeah, I just appreciate it. And um, the people I'm tagging, this is it. The moment of truth. Tag. Um, Banner 24-7, tagging you. Um, I know you just started, but I want to hear where you're going this year and what kind of knives you're going to be looking for. And then uh, Outpost, Outpost 76, we kind of already know you're tagged in this. Um, and Gerald, I want to hear what you have to say for sure, because I think we're on the same page. And then um, at least somewhat. Uh, also, um, I'm going to tag Steve because I don't know if you're going to do anything like this. Super Still Steve, you're tagged. Uh, Sharp Thinking, you're tagged. This is a big fucking tag, but... I don't know. I got a lot of people I want to hear from. Um, Steve, I kind of know where you're going to go. I mean, we all do. Because you've probably got knives up the wazoo right now. So, yeah. Eager to see where that goes for you. Um, and I hope I can align with you, maybe. Hopefully soon. Um, maybe we can do something. If I get a tester, I'm looking for a hardness tester. Anybody out there, any of my subscribers, if you can get a hold of a hardness tester, I'm looking to get one. And I will test all my knives. I'll test anything I get. I don't care if it has a dimple in it. So I will test knives and then maybe I'll send them to Steve. You know, maybe we can align. Maybe that's how this thing can go and um, we can start something cool. But uh, yeah, I want to test knives. I want to give you guys more information. I know I ramble enough already, but I want to get you guys uh, solid facts on some of these things, you know. I give you my solid facts, but that's me observing. It's still subjective. So if I can get you data, I will. And I'll have some new toughness tests coming up um, when I get some time and everything like that. Um, yeah, so those who are tagged, you know who you are. Um, oh, Metal Effort, another person. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm tagging so many people. This doesn't really make sense. But it is an open tag, so anyone who wants to do this... Subscribers, tell me what you guys are up to next year. Uh, tell me what you're, you're, you got eyes on, you know? Maybe I got you into something. Uh, I know a lot of guys, I probably, I ruined your day with this one because I, some people don't give a shit because of that clip, but I know some people, I, I ruined your day because now you went to Knife Center and bought that. I'm gonna work on affiliations too, guys. I wanna get some affiliates so that I can give you guys some deals and maybe I can get some deals. And anyone who can help me with that, let me know. I, I did make a, I had to make a, um, I had to make a web chan a web page. I had to make a, I had to wait, make a web page so that I had some way of showing these affiliate companies. 
because it's not Blade HQ, your affiliate. You you have like a connecting company that gets you guys together. So I don't know if it should be Blade HQ or Knife Center. I don't know if Knife Center does it. I want to do Blade HQ because I do love Blade HQ, but I know there's already a lot of affiliations with Blade HQ. And Knife Center sometimes has things that Blade HQ ran out of so quick because it's not as big. So let me know what you guys think. Um, if any of my subscribers can help me with anything, let me know. Um, again, your negative comments mean as much to me as the positive ones sometimes because this is all about self-reflection for me. Um, a lot of it is, and I learn a lot about myself by doing this, and it's, it's, it's all a learning process for me. So all of your input means something to me, even if it's negative. James, you fucking called me out a few times, man. You've been like, hey, he, dude, it took five minutes to get to the freaking point. Yes, and I have a problem with that. So let me know if, if something I'm saying doesn't actually mean anything to you guys because some of the, like, you know, I, I do say things that maybe don't matter to you guys, uh, but I try to make everything have some type of connection to where my point is. And um, sometimes I want to call you guys out or I want to uh, do shout outs too. I don't know if that's, if you guys are like, do it at the end. Um, so just talk to me. I'm very open-minded. Um, even though I have a strong will. Uh, Jovan, this one's for you, buddy. But yeah, if you made it to this point. Uh, appreciate all you guys. And I really, really do um, want to make 2019 a great year for the YouTube channel. So thanks for everything. And uh, yeah. Happy New Year. Have a great 2019, everybody. And <clears throat> I am feeling like shit. So I'm going to stop talking. And whew. I love you guys. <laughs> I'm just going to come out and say that. Yeah, you. Uh, it's, it's just a whole new family I didn't have before. So thanks a lot, guys. Later.